All right, guys. So the nursing license process is already taking quite a little wit, except here lately it's taking even longer. NPR reports that it is taking months for people to get their nursing license in various fields of nursing. Of course, you know, you have various stages of nursing licensure. People are taking months to get their licenses or get the eligible to take their licenses when it used to take an average of about 56 days, so a little over a month and a half or so. However, the pandemic has sort of made things much harder on people, creating more and more time between class and actually becoming a licensed nurse. It happens. The pandemic is, of course, partially to blame for this, as COVID has put a damper on many, many things, licensure also being one of them. To combat this, some states have even issued temporary licensures. North Carolina, the state that I live in, is one of those states. So you could graduate from nursing school and then begin working as a graduated nurse, not a licensed nurse, with your temporary license while you wait on things like your NCLEX and things like that. There are a few things that play into this as to why this is going on. Of course, you have your school that you have to complete. Then your school has to send everything to the state to the board in order to get your eligibility for the NCLEX. And of course, your NCLEX has to be approved by whoever your test is through, Pearson View or Kaplan or whoever it may be. Mine was through Pearson View. You have to have all of these things get approved. And some of these places are still short-staffed from, of course, the pandemic that has been going on. Adding to more and more frustration from the nursing students who now want to be licensed as nurses and go to work as anyone really wants to, creating more and more frustration, more and more time between uh, school and work, and adding to people's frustration. It's a terrible thing to happen, especially with one in four hospitals saying that they are in a shortage of nursing staff. Also, this is a terrible thing to happen with the COVID still kind of going on. I mean, yeah, it's slowed up somewhat, but it's still here and still going on. Hospital numbers are down, but that doesn't really help anything. It's still, still happening out there. So, yes, there is an extended wait time from the time you graduate to the time you get your nursing license. There's an extended wait time in nurse licensure exams and nurse licensure things. And it's all not being very much fun for nurses who are ready to get their license. I know I was in that same boat as I could not wait to have that piece of paper that said licensed or that, you know, green stamp on my DON uh, Board of Nursing uh, website or whatever it may be. Yes, I was there and I checked that NCLEX examination every day, I believe, until it said approved next to my name. So yes, I feel for you out there, nurses. Some nurses are reporting months long, of like seven to eight months. Of course, the nurses who have been nurses for a long time can say, hey, you know what? The exam when I graduated was only given one time a year, and it was in July, and they put us all in a stadium, and we all had to take three days worth of tests, and then it took eight weeks to get your results back after the six months that you had to wait to take the exam. Yeah, that was... That's what I have been told from nurses that graduated way back in the day. It's not that way anymore, thankfully. As I said before, the used-to-be wait time was an average of 56 days. Now it is drastically increased. However, the temporary license is sort of helping things. Hopefully it helps things even more so. Uh, terrible situation, and I really hate it for people graduating at this moment in time, as I feel that they didn't get very much um, practice to begin with because, you know, the pandemic sort of kept them out of the clinical setting, and now they're having to wait even longer to become nurses. This is even worse for people becoming nurses at this moment in time. I hope it changes. I just don't see any end in sight, especially with the pandemic still going on. It is what it is. If you like this video, there should be a playlist down below for nurses making the news on Thursday. 
Don't forget to watch this one if you like this video as well, or like, share, and subscribe over here. Thank you so much. I hope it helps.